my name's Gary Ryland or Ragsy, and I'm a, I'm a singer, songwriter, musician, and uh, I'm also uh, training to become a tutor with Community Music Wales. I think that community music training has been uh, has been amazing for me. It's an area that I've always wanted to get involved in because being a musician, you have to, you know, learn various skills, especially independently, and those are the th types of things you want to share. And then wanting to be involved in various community projects to be able to bring those bits of information and bits of skills you picked along the way but also learning other new skills to be able to, to help and develop projects and things like that. So the training I've been given, well, it, it, it's really helped me to develop to be a tutor and be able to, to, to hopefully help other people as well. The thing I find most rewarding is smiles. I love to see people smiling, I love to, pe to see people getting involved. Music's such a universal language. You can bang a drum, you can play a guitar, you can strum a guitar, you can use a shaker uh, and yeah, just to, to see people smiling and embracing and enjoying that, that's, that's something that I, I love to see every time. The, the groups I've, I've, I've enjoyed working with so far, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the first project I was involved in where we went to various schools. It, it was kind of encouraging children to discover where they live and form that into lyrical content for, for, a, for a project, for a song. It was really enjoyable to, to get them thinking about where they live and how to describe it and then put it in song and then to see them flourish from that. And, and you know, some of them were rapping, some of them were singing along and just, yeah, just, just getting that out of them. And then to work at the, the Oasis Centre, just to see so many people from different nationalities, just to be able to get them in a room and go use a load of instruments, let's, let's have some fun. And if you feel there's an instrument that you want to play that you're unsure of, then we can kind of show you how to, to play that, whether it just be a, a, you know, a simple guitar chord and strum in it, or whether it be a, a drum and bang and a beat. So yeah, th those are the, the, the types of projects I've enjoyed, but I'm, I'm always open to experience everything really. The biggest challenges for me are going into a, a, a room of, of strangers really, uh, and finding out what they want to get out of it. Uh, obviously there's language barriers, so it's communication as well and just making sure that everybody you know, gets what they want from, from a project. Th those are, are, the, are the barriers for me that I, I, I try to work on. I, I can't speak for anybody else, but for me as, a, as someone who wants to be a community music tutor and I wanted to work with various groups. There's lots of opportunity for me to, to experience various types of training to develop as a, as a tutor and whenever I see a course or a, a master class or anything like that then I cannot wait to get on there because I want to develop myself as a tutor. To find out about these courses I get an email or I regularly check the Community Music Wales website but Facebook is really good as well because Community Music, they create events for these workshops and the masterclasses. So I've been on uh, rhythm masterclasses, I've been on vocal masterclasses, uh, songwriting masterclasses, as well as the workshops for developing as a tutor because I think they can all add, you, you'll either go, you can either go in there to develop as a musician, which is a good thing as well, but you can also observe the tutors and learn new skills and, and see how they, they're doing that as well. So um, yeah, the, the information is readily available on, on, on lots of different ways. After the training there is, a, there is a lot of support because obviously you stay in contact. For, for me I, it's something I really want to do, I want to become a tutor so I, I'm constantly chasing it as well. Because of the various other workshops and masterclasses I feel that that is support as well because I think for me to be able to go on those that is support in, in developing yourself and then obviously talking and communicating to see what opportunities are available or come in. Yes the, the training has progressed my career because if you have a look at where I was I never dreamt that I'd be being a facilitator, music facilitator on a workshop. It was something that I wanted to do 
but I didn't know where to start. And then coming to Community Music Wales and talking to Community Mu Music Wales about it and then going on these workshops and progressing through that way and then all of a sudden then I'm, I'm, I'm helping to facilitate workshops. What I've taken from the course is how to look at your skills and be able to develop them and use them in a way to help people but for me it's more about trying to engage people and getting them enjoying it. Those are the two things for me that I've taken from it in how you can get people to get involved in the workshop and it's all about having fun and enjoying it. The whole experience from the moment that I went on the, uh, the tutor training course to, to everything that I've been on ever since has completely changed my outlook and the way I approach workshops because I want to deliver the best and I wanted everybody to get everything out of it that they want. So it's about understanding where you're going, uh, who, who is going to be involved in that workshop and, and what they want. For me it's all about communication and, and trying to get that information from everybody to make it the most memorable and happy and fun experience.